make your boba dough, it only really takes 3 ingredients. So firstly, get a pot and add in your muscovado sugar. So muscovado sugar is basically just like your regular brown sugar, but it's unrefined, so it has like a deeper, richer taste. But if you can't get your hands on it, then normal dark brown sugar will do. So add it into a pot with your water and stir it in until everything is dissolved. And just a little fun fact for you, do you know what's the difference between brown and white sugar? Well, they're the same thing. What? Well, yes, brown and white sugar are essentially the same type of refined sugar. It's just that brown sugar has molasses in it, which gives it its brown color. So essentially, you could turn brown sugar into white sugar by just adding molasses to it. Alright, back to the recipe. So you then just want to heat the mixture and add in a tablespoon of your next ingredient, which is tapioca flour. It's important just to add in a tablespoon at first, just to get the whole thickening process going. So just cook it until it visibly thickens, like this, and then take it off the heat completely and move it to the side. Then you want to dump in all your remaining tapioca flour into the pot and mix it thoroughly. Just keep mixing and mixing until all the flour is combined. And I recommend wearing an apron or cover for this because an alarming amount of unknown white powder getting everywhere isn't a very good look, if you know what I mean. So then you just want to get your dough onto a clean surface and start kneading it for about 5 minutes. If your dough gets too dry, you can add just a bit of water to it, or if it's too wet, you can add just a touch more of tapioca flour. The key to the whole dough coming together is to make sure you do it when the dough is warm, so that all the flour gets incorporated into the dough. So just get in there with your dough and knead it nicely. An easy way to knead the dough is to push out with your wrist and fold it back onto itself. So just repeat this until you have a nice, supple, smooth and pliable dough. So if you aren't working on all your dough at once, make sure to keep the rest wrapped up in some plastic wrap to prevent it from drying out. Then you want to roll your dough into thin logs. Then use your knife and cut out little pieces which will eventually become your boba. To quicken the process, just use some big brain energy and cut several logs at the same time. Then roll out those small pieces into equal size balls and place them into a bowl with some extra tapioca flour and coat them just to prevent them from sticking. I mean, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want some sticky balls. <sighs> Come on Shankar, you're better than that. So after about 100 years of rolling, you should have all your boba ready for cooking. And as you can see, I clearly don't understand what equal size means. And if you are the same, it's alright. If anyone complains, just say it's rustic. So to cook your boba, all you need to do is to boil them. So get some boiling water and add your boba in and stir it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Then just cook it for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you want to strain them and get them into cold water to stop cooking. So for the brown sugar syrup, you just want to add in some water and brown sugar to your pot. Then add in your boba and let it soak up all the syrup and reduce it down till it becomes thick and syrupy. It should look something like this. So next, just get a glass, add your boba and syrup to it and top off with your milk of choice. As you can see, I went with a nice oat milk because God did not give me the ability to digest lactose properly. You can add black tea to this as well if you want to make it a proper milk tea. But if not, it's still delicious either way. 